Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to diagnose a power issue on the all-wheel drive 3. First step is remove the seat from the bike and you can put the battery back in and uh, turn on the bike here and let's turn on the display. In some of the cases you will get an error right away when you turn on the, the display like error 8 or 9, 60 69 21 some of these cases it's already we can tell then it's a motor problem uh, normally when they appear on the display that means it's the rear motor um, in some other cases you will see the display turn on like normal but there's no power on the bike on this one it's power but when you have that uh, issue with it's no errors on the display but there is no power on the motors so first thing you have to do is check on the brake sensors. So you have the brake sensors right here. As you can see, there's the levers. So you're gonna find another wire under the hose. Uh, so right here, in this case, it's under this one here. Just follow up the directions, pull the wire, or just, you can find the connector. So what you need to do is unplug those connectors from both sides. So they normally red. So you just unplug both of them and try the power. So there's power. So that means then one of the sensors is gonna be an issue. So from there, So just uh, plug one at a time, just to check which one is the, the problem. For example, you plug this one in and the motor still works. That means that the problem is gonna be the other sensor, which is on this side or the opposite. If you plug this in and it doesn't work, the motors, then you just unplug that one and plug this one back in. And then if the bike works, that means it's the other sensor, which is the other side. So that's the way you diagnose if there is a problem with one of the sensors on, on one of the brakes. Um, so once you fix it, you can plug it back in. So that's the way to diagnose if there is a sensor problem there. So one of the other issues here, it could be the switch. So actually let's check on the motors first. So this is switched to the rear motor. So as you see there it's working. Basically. So then we switch to the front motor as you see, that one is not working. That's supposed to be there. And we try on the all we drive. It's not working there. So what we're gonna do is set it up on the rear motor. Then we're gonna turn off the bike. And from here, we're gonna try it by plugging in the rear motor cable to the front motor. Just to check, just make sure it's off the battery. Let's remove this. So you're gonna have to cut the zip tag from here, here, and one on the top bar over here. Let's pull up the cable from there. Let's go to the front. You may need to move the handlebars just to reach out the motor wire. Move this wire from here as well. Let's plug that in. Make sure you align the arrows on the connectors. They normally all the connectors they have arrows, so you have to align them to the, together. So just make sure you do that all the time. 
so now it's connected there so now let's go back and turn the light on and as you see here on the display check on this way turn it on let's try the motor it's already set up if that was the rear so I tried to spin the throttle, but it's already come out with an error eight. What does that mean? Then the motor is not working properly. So we need to replace this motor on this one. Once you know the error eight came out, we know that the rear cable is working properly because we saw the rear motor working fine. But once we connect to the front one, it's already come out with the error eight. We need to replace this motor on this bike. So that's how you diagnose this part. So in case um, the front motor works like this uh, and there's no errors on the display, so you must check on the, on the middle, which is the all-wheel drive, and try the throttle. And this is gonna help us to diagnose the, the all-wheel all, all drive switch just because if there is no working on the middle where is both motors working that means that the switch needs to be replaced but this case we already know that it's the motor but uh, that's the way to try if the switch is the one part that we need to replace and that's about it